This is probably the coolest thing that I've seen in my life, bro. YouTube, what's up? It's your boy Koozie. And if you are brand new to Phasmophobia, or maybe you're tired of your friends laughing at you because you suck so bad at the game, have no fear. I have found the perfect tool for you. This tool is not only going to speed up your leveling by tenfold, but it's also going to make you so much better at the game. We're going to jump into it. We're going to put this tool into practice. Let's see how much it helps. So this right here is phasmo-journal.com. I've linked it down below in the description. It is created by xnoel on Reddit. So let's talk about the homepage. So this just gives you a basic rundown of like what the website does. But if you go here to ghost, I'll try to stay out of the way, but it shows you all of the ghosts, all of their evidence. But over here on the left, dude, it's got the evidence that you select. So for instance, EMF ghostwriting freezing, it'll break it down. It'll tell you its sanity threshold. It'll tell you its speed. If you're doing no evidence, and the ghost hunts you you can select if it's a if it's a slow ghost it'll break it down right there your sanity threshold here say the ghost hunts and you're at 60 percent this shows you all the ghosts that hunt at that uh threshold i wish it would show you like i guess the ones above but yeah so it's pretty cool you can filter it out and then if you go over here on the right to details it'll break down every single ghost it'll tell you what the journal in game says but down here it has behavior like for instance, the spirit, it's got no special powers, a harsh reaction to smudge sticks. And then it shows you how to test for that ghost, dude. Uh, then up here at the top, it says tools. This is probably the coolest thing that I've seen in my life, bro. Namely down here at the bottom, the ghost blinking. Here you can see how different ghosts flicker during the hunt. It has the normal ghost blinking, and then it has Oni blinking, and then it has phantom blinking. And then it has a smudge timer, so whenever you smudge, you can hit the play button, it'll run a timer, and then once it gets to 60 seconds, like if it hunts right here in between demon and normal, you can immediately know that it's a demon. Then it has over here, the ghost speeds, right? So this is normal speed, it's got audio, but then you can select like ghosts that have like speed modifiers during the hunt, so like a revenant, right? You can do the slow revenant whenever it doesn't see you, and then switch it to fast. And then like the twins or the Diogen, etc. And then it has the hunt cooldown timer. So this thing is really cool, but it doesn't stop there, man. My man Noel went in and made a curse possession section that tells you everything you need to know about every single curse possession. You want to know about the tarot cards? Here's all the tarot cards and what it does. If you want to know about the monkey paw, which is the most in-depth curse possession in the game, it's got it, baby. So yeah, dude, it's the link down below. I'll link it in the description and I'll pin it in the pinned comment as well, just so you got it. Here's what we're going to do. We're gonna go into a nightmare mode. Okay, so real quick, Cobra in my chat actually just informed me about something called the unofficial Phasmo cheat sheet by Ty Bane. Uh, and it's actually linked in the about section. So here, this is a live reaction. So it breaks down all the ghosts. It seems like phasmo-journal.com seems to be like a much more, I guess, like minimalistic version of this, but it's got guides for zero evidence XP grinding, all that stuff. It's got the map guides. This is actually really cool. Um, so yeah, I mean, this is another option, but I actually kind of prefer the phasmo-journal.com simply because it's much more mi minimalistic and it seems to be a little bit more user-friendly low key. So anyways, let's jump in. We're on Willow Street here and we are on nightmare mode. The only thing is we have uh, the custom settings enabled to where the screens are on and the breakers on by default, as you saw. So we found the bone already. So let's try to find the ghost room here. It's going down. All right, so we got our video camera, our spirit box, and our UV. EMF5? No. Are you here? There you go. Okay, wait, Diogen? Where are you? How old are you? Are you friendly? How old are you? An elderly individual. It's an elderly individual. It's probably Ma uh, Mabel. So for those of you watching on YouTube, uh, I seem to have this pattern develop on every contract I go to where it's always uh, the grandma ghost model. Um, and we have named her Mabel. I don't know what her obsession with me is, but it's very disturb disturbing. So uh, maybe that's her. We got spirit box though. All right, so we're not using the Phasmo journal. We have, uh, so it's spirit, wraith, phantom. Okay, so let's figure it out. I mean, we're gonna have to use the Phasma Journal to make our selection. And obviously we're using it to rule out ghosts as well, but. All right, so no orbs. Did it change ghost rooms? Now it's in here. Is this the ghost room? 
Yep. Okay, it changed ghost rooms. It's not a Gorio. It can't be a Gorio anyways because we have spirit box and that's not on the list here. All right, so let's put this in here. I'm going to grab this to check for orbs again, just in case. Airball. Okay, no Oni. If you're wondering how I'm able to rule out ghosts based on things that are happening that aren't related to evidence, uh, I will link uh, a ghost guide that I did that shows you how to rule out or identify every single ghost in the game in less than 60 seconds. All right, still not freezing yet. Uh, let's go get some salt here. Um, is Wraith on the list? It is. Turn off the breaker again. Is this a Hantu? I mean, Hantu's not on the list. Okay, stepped in salt. Not a Wraith. Not seeing any fingerprints either. No fingingtons. Okay. Not a Wraith. Can't be Gorio, so we don't need to check for Gorio dots. Is it freezing? Oh, dude, it's so close to freezing. We don't have ghost riding. Can you give me a sign? So all we have right now is just is just spirit box. I don't know if that's EMF five though. Okay. <laughs> all right. So it's either spirit wraith or the twins. Well, it's not a wraith, so it could be spirit or twins, but I don't know. It seems like mainly... Oh, it's hunting. Oh, it's hunting. And that's not elderly. Okay, so it's obviously twins. But just in case I'm stupid and don't know about the twins. If, if you don't know about the twins, you're not stupid. I'm sorry. I'm just saying if, if I was stupid. Let's go to twins. Fast twin. Gee, that sounds very identical to what we just heard. So we would make our selection here. Thanks to phasmophobia-journal.com. Again, the link for that is in the description as well as um, the pinned comment. But um, yeah. So you know what this means, baby. If you like this video or you learned something, you got to hit the thumbs up, man, and hit the subscribe button. I would greatly appreciate that. Um, did we get it right? Or was it a stinky mimic the whole time? It was the twins. Alrighty. Well, there you go. So yeah, phasmophobiajournal.com. I'm not sure how long it's been out, but I'm sure it's been out for a while. I just discovered it today. I found it and I had to make a video for you guys in case you didn't know about it. Again, link for that's down below. Also, speaking of links, I, I recorded this live on stream right now. I stream almost every night around 8 p.m. Eastern. So the link for that is also in the description. For those of you that want to check out the other, uh, like the unofficial Phasmo cheat sheet uh, by Ty Bain, uh, I'll link that as well. So anyways, hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, take care of yourself, take care of each other, and I'll catch you in the next one.